Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer uh, 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty, Unfair, with plus 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 because we have crammed everything up to the max at this point. And we are back at footfall. Um, Voxmaster Vigdis tells us, Lord Captain, we've received a Vox message from footfall. That's not surprising. The Inquisition has declared a martial law on the station due to the threat of Malus Exterminus. Docking will require special permission, um, and even most of the asteroids have been condoned off. Okay, well. The station's custodian, her ladyship Insidia Corda, sends her greetings and invites your lordship to disembark at the docks with a small retinue. Her enforcers will meet you there and escort you um, to another chamber for a private audience. Victus, the salve of my heart. Forgive the intrusion, but I have important business with a rogue trader. Oh, Shireen, I simply wish to remind you about the Lump Skull crew that got myself captured uh, with some rival Eshmaks. Vladim is too occupied for schemes, and besides, Sinceria Corda has already put him in place, which leaves only Falco. Uh, may the Azi tear his soul into pieces. All right. Uh, let's go and see what happened to your crew. Shireen, uh, have I ever mentioned that you are the most uh, fragrant rosebush in the entire blossoming garden of the Corona expanse? Um, Voxmaster Victus, if this is all you have to say, apologies, Lord Captain, what is your instruction? Let's take a look at uh, the new uh, hospitalities of uh, Footfall. We're going to do exactly that. We got the atrium and we're going in with our uh, secondary team because uh, Jay needs to be there. She's part of the secondary team. Hence, uh, let's give it a go and see how well they are doing. I like that. Uh, mm, that uh, separation between both of the teams and having the weaker uh, ones with the builds that aren't as overpowered uh, will make the fights a little bit more difficult uh, than they normally are, which I appreciate. So um, one of the problems that you're often running into with these CRPGs is that if you're optimizing builds, then you're starting to optimize the fun out of it. And my builds certainly are far from optimal because it's the first time that I'm building them but I can already see since I've played so many of these games just which of the mechanics start to quote-unquote break the game um, and whilst some people are not really interested in difficult fights I personally like um, difficult fights as they are a big factor of my enjoyment and you're uh, running into the situation that you might uh, optimize the fun out of the game if uh, if you're having two optimized builds because all of a sudden what used to be a difficult fight is uh, a complete cakewalk you get uh, the point but i still wanted to mention it zeta 42 salutation functionally initiated uh, trade terminal okay let's see Okay, that's just a normal trader. Nothing to see here. But wait. Good, we got a couple of um, data slates because we have explored so much of the um, Corona's expense that that is always worth something uh, to them. Um, the unit Opticom 22 was instructed to leave uh, the location Footfall and head to the strategic location Euphuras 2 in order to provide support for the Explorator um, Cognizance fleet. Okay. Not bad. Good. And of course, we're immediately running into a problem. Well, Shireen, what do you have? Uh, do we have here a cowardly Ashmac? 
who wants to get his pores on my certificate with even working a for a sweat. Considering the circumstances currently affecting footfall, the only fitting place for this field could, uh, could be hiding in the sewers. A nasty spot with a powerful whiff about it, that is true, but I swear you, Shireen, you won't come up for a better trap for Falco. I know these tunnels like the back of my hand. Um, and uh, the most delicious part of all of this is that the Ashmex chose to go here. Of course, that's only if the Azi don't mess things up and that everything is going to plan. If it doesn't, my gang is dead, Shireen. One wrong move, one wrong word. Yeah, thrown them that uh, Ashmex. Why is everything always so difficult? Falco is not a complete idiot. He won't risk such valuable payoff. He'll hold up to his end of the deal and give me Tora and the others. Uh, Jay, the certificate uh, did not only grant you limitless opportunities, it also imposed you to responsibilities. The certificate cannot be allowed to fall into Falco's hands, and you know that. But Tora and the rest, they are waiting for me, Shireen, they are waiting. You made your choice the moment that you accepted the Mercatum Tabula. I will not gift him uh, uh, with uh, an easy death, Shireen, as an official representative of the Imperium. I am duty-bound to purge the tunnels uh, of Ashmac like Falco. Let's go. Our way is a secret passage into the Adeptus. Okay, and we should do that, but before we're just running in blindly, uh, let's loot. Got another fireproof cape there, which is curious that the game is giving us exactly that. The world trembles. I knew I did not imagine the okay. voice of one of the so. born. Silent Thresh has sent her servants for me. Oh look at that. That is new. Context piracy. Okay, I see. Enver heresy, heresy, piracy, descend, blasphemy. Killing people for being blasphemous is a bit of a stretch. All right, Hieronymus Dol so, uh, Rosso. Behold, noble Sycan, as footfall transforms before your very eyes. In the wake of your toil, this den of depravity will once again become a testament of the Emperor's greatness. Uh, okay. Can we move the conversation to a place more befitting? Nah. I have no questions about his faith at the moment. I do have a lot of questions about what is going on though. Let's seize the opportunity. It says we do have a lot of people that we could theoretically talk with, but are all of the men merchants hanged? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Or is this merely showcasing that all of these hanged people do have an info box on them? More blasphemy, heresy. Yeah, the good old uh, heresy and blasphemy kind of go hand in hand. 
don't they? Which is also the reason why I think that so many here are being um, are being punished for bl uh, blasphemy. Have mercy, our families are starving. We only have taken a couple of nutri bars. Liars, I can see it with my naked eye. The corruption has engulfed your nature. Only cleansing fire can absolve you from now. Guilty. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, I don't think that people die that easily. Is this fire cleansing enough for you, you crazy thing? The Emperor protects me! And this guy unfortunately or fortunately dies. She looks a little bit um, a little bit extreme. Saiken van Valencius, I have been informed about your arrival. Exhaustion has crisscrossed in Sidiria's features with lines. Her cheek is a twisted, continuous nervous tick, yet her eyes are ablaze with indomitable resolve. A brilliant aura of power and righteous fury surrounds her like a mantle. She gracefully brings a gold-plated inhaler to her lips, takes a deep breath, and the fire in her gaze flares like a plasma thirster. Marzai's eyes are locked uh, on the wretched soul who had his skull carved open. The corner of his mouth is twitching, uh, stretching his gaunt uh, face into a twisted grin. We're examining her. One look at uh, Insidia's full dress uniform shows that she is not changed in many days. The color is greasy and the laces are stained with sweat. The air tinged uh, with the smell of inhaled stimulant that is uh, used to give serfs the ability to work multiple watches without uh, rest. Point at the open skull, what is that? Now I must know the taste of a criminal th thought. This is how I learn to recognize their patterns. And does it help? I have deepened my understanding of the petty and odious urges that drive the weak willed to degeneracy. AKA, she's discovered the internet? I don't know. If only you know what it's like to be familiar with every shade of corruption that lurks in the depraved souls. You know, not the first thing about perceiving it, sensing it, peering into the people's soul and seeing the heinous therein. But I know it all too well. None of it will escape my wrath. Uh, the law has found a uh, footfall, I can see. Yes, it has, albeit its journey was far too long. But it will never release its grip on the station again. I vow to see it to it. The Lord Inquisitor has bestowed upon me the honor of bringing order to this cesspool of pirates and heretics to rid footfall of corruption that has fettered its limbs and turned this imperial station into a hotbed of free thinking and inefficiency. This is no tribunal, that's a slaughter. It pleases me that you get a share of the triumph of Footfalls culling with me. Um, you say that you would not rest until you had judged every soul on the station. I too wish to be uh, to stand before your court. Okay, why not? You truly wish to stand trial? Very well. May the zeal serve as an example to the rest. Celia leans forward and peers into your eyes. Her gaze, like a monk carrying a rushlight, wanders down the corridors of your soul's fortress, checking every corner in search of the slightest faults or traces of corruption. A wary smile touches her lips. I see no sign of taint in your soul. You are pure before the Emperor, and thus I quit you and grant you his blessings in parting. Go forth and may his punishment to those who have turned his back on his words. 
what's happening between you and Winterscale? Winterscale's a traitor. While the expanse burns, ravaged by heretics and unhollow Xenos, he abandoned his duty completely and had the nerve to ignore the Lord Inquisitor's call to battle. My servants are taking over his worlds and ships while he is hiding from reckoning and indulges his base urges. Soon enough, he too will stand before judgment. Correction, he's a dead traitor. He's no more than regrettable. He found his demise so easily. Caligos was meant to confess before the court and taste the distation he deserved. So, what are the changes in footfall now? Indeed I am. When the Lord Inquisitor enacted martial law in the Expanse, I offered him my support at once. Footfall was chosen as the Lord Inquisitor's headquarters, and the position of Footfall's liege was temporarily abolished while this war lasts, or perhaps longer than that. All authority transferred to the station's warden to me. The Lord Inquisitor is preoccupied with the matters of strategic planning. I am tasked with security and order. And there's much to do on this front. Pirates and smugglers everywhere. Everyone of the warns, uh, everyone warns attention. And Celia cracks her neck, must have grown stiff after so many hours of reading, and she picks up another sheet. Everywhere you look, servants are buckling under the heavy stack of new documents, warrants and other documents. Whom do you judge? All of them. Thieves, smugglers, pirates, traitors, heretics, deserters, abettors, harbiters, cowards, and perjurers. Anyone who has trespassed, any who has protected, a miscreed and or kept quiet about the crime they knew of, they all will be condemned. More and more new convicts are being granted the great boon of undergoing servitude imperpetuous, and, having rid themselves of the sinful consciousness, they serve the Imperium free of doubt and weakness. How long has this uh, court been in season? Already three weeks. The court carries on day and night, so my sense of time eludes me. You are most uh, thorough with that. The universe is a terrifying place. We are surrounded by the arch enemies machinations in xeno scum that would deny us our right to exist uh, okay well awareness has to succeed she's not lying you can tell by her eyes and her voice trembling with an honest face that incentia is generally believes everything uh, every word she says where's the lord inquisitor I am the, uh, in the Liege chambers, chambers coordinating the expanse defense. His attention is focused on a matter of vital importance and he's not going to see any supplicants. What makes you think you're entitled to govern this place as you see fit? Such is the law of footfall. Any rogue trader who arrives here assumes the right of absolute authority. Surely. It is that cutthroat Tokara who deserves to rule the station. He will, uh, he will soon be hanging from a nose, and so will his Kesbalican henchmen. Once you hindered my efforts uh, to subdue the station, and yet here you are now dispensing justice to the wicked. I only regret that I was unable to start sooner. Then. Tokara's troublemakers have already been crushed instead of lurking in cargo bays and maintenance tunnels. We shall see whether uh, Frostball will thank you. Wait, you have a duty to the Emperor that you must see to. 
Vladimir Tokara, the deplectable rebel who once ruled the station, has slipped away from me. He is instigating the people to revolt, killing my servants and hiding from my wrath. And with a dexterity, a dexterity of a void red, my informer claims that he appears in one of the dens of unrest that bears the irrelevant name of Adeptus M.S. Cassius. We have made several attempts to arrest him, yet he evades capture every time. In the interest of Footfall's integrity to Kara must be apprehended. Together, we will make that scoundrel pay for his crimes. Let him drink the cup of his wrath to full. The cup of his own hands will deliver. All right, I will help you to deal with him. I never doubted you. The Emperor protects. But remember, none of the rebel leaders will allow to die before their trial. Uh, I forbid you to execute them without my leave. Okay. He is a good old instigator who had a big fat plasma gun. I like that. The others weren't carrying anything. The world will bow. You are different from your kin, Yiriat. And that worries me. Not knowing what to expect means I always have to be on my guard. You are unusually perceptive for a monkey. And you have such an unruly nature. Perhaps I should take a closer look at you too. Alright, nothing here to see. Let's move on. Bomb has exploded here, most likely an improvised one. Intriguing. When you hire people that uh, are called confessors, then it uh, suggests uh, that you're up for no good. This is a very dictatorian um, state. Good. Time for the Martyr's Endurance. We might be able to hit two birds with one stone here. Get Jay's quest going. And help her, help uh, the current ruler of the station uh, to uh, get her grip back. Powers unseen, uncover my path. All right, downstairs seems to be a location where we could go. The world uh, but I'm seeing Vladimir Tokara the leash uh, already here. Look at yourselves humbled in a den. Or you look outward in the searches, blah 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 blah. Vladimir Tokara. I didn't like him in the first place, to be fair. You have no other option, the Rizzer. If you abandon footfall to quarter and flee, where are you going to sell your goods or restock your supplies? It will be a slow death for all of you. No missiles, no water, no air. So quit bargaining with the inevitable and follow the plan. Riza says, your plan is a suicide pact. You have no allies, no weapon, no nothing. You're trying to play above your league, Vacamo. And you've taken on a rogue trader's dynasty with only a handful of cutthroats and a couple of guns to your name. I see your march uh, to the gallows is more than a gallop. Turning away from uh, Riza, Vladiam's expression does not change, but... An instinct uh, curse falls from his instant curse falls from his lip. My greetings, my apologies for being unable to receive your lordship in my office. My present status imposes uh, imposes certain limitations on me. Greetings, your lordship. As for you, Vacamo, I've got nothing to add. Your plan is utter crap. 
and the kind of gamble I don't take. I'll leave you to think about your prospects and maybe realize using my shuttle would be a better idea while the, sh uh, uh, while the shuttle and I are still here. Uh, she has a point, a good one actually. You really aren't picky at all in your choices of mercenaries and again the unclean Xenos are too adept in the art of carnage. Careful with your choices. I'll show you the expertise in filleting a person alive right here and now. I like it. In the name of law, every insurgent present here is under arrest. I've missed this, everyone. If I pay you those thrones, uh, that means you to battle. Hieronymus, enough, Ladam. I was hoping I could temper your pride, but you are too rooted in your arrogant, heretical ways. All your faithful, uh, all you faithful to the emperor. Let us take a stand um, for his liege, rogue trader Van Valencius. Oh, oh nice. We got uh, Hieronymus on our side, uh, who comes in with uh, 250 hit points. All right. Alright, so we positioned ourselves. Abelard uh, will be the sole front line against all of this. There are a couple of thugs over here. Um, and I think Marazai could stand here. Earlier over there. And. Um, so I can back here. Fantastic. Let's start the battle. Get the show rolling. Um, I reject the very idea. Do we want to give uh, more resolve, or do we feel like more characteristics are good? I think we're going with characteristics, and then Destiny heroic onto Erliot, who um, begins to start with taking just a lot of stacks away, and she's now at seven stacks. That's fantastic. This tedium is beneath me. For free here. If it serves your cause. Put that down here so that that servitor is uh, taken care of. And I think we're just going to eliminate a couple of enemies first. So let's start with that kill. If I must, I deal death with my hands. Nice little eight uh, action points. I understand your intent. I hear you moving no more. One, two, three, easy thug kills. Good, the others are a little bit tougher. Um, wait, is there someone over here? No. Okay. The others are a little bit tougher, so might as well start with this. This tedium is beneath me. Ancestors guide me. Another hit. I am not your Xenos. No weakness is hidden from One my One more sight. hit. If it serves and your And that's a kill. Oh come on, miss really? Uh, that's a kill. If I must. Good, very good. Um. Next up, let's get that combat servitor in into a bad spot. Okay, well that was not good. Your intent. Ancestors guide me. Good hit, good hit, and we're taking course. that extra um, that extra shot. Okay, cool. Well, that's a good start. I think Iridia needs a turn as well. She sets herself up. But of course. In flame. Uh, steals what? a couple of Was that you? exposes or for free. Um, mm. 
Will do. Give Saiken a forewarning. Oh, we got another servitor there. I haven't even seen him. I think we're starting over here. But of course. Anything else? Okay, fantastic. Jay. You just surely. Why is she? Why is her bringing it down unavailable? I don't understand that. To be fair. Okay. Um. We're helping Marazai because he needs a bit uh, of stats. Am I getting paid for this? Earliot, uh, goes next. And Marazai could also I get a few extra stack, uh, stacks. Sticks. That's not uh, the problem. We're trying to hit Tell these me, two. Okay. Some damage is better than no damage. Well done, Jay. And uh, Saiken gets an extra turn. It's everyone with the word of the Emperor. Lots of buffs. I need no uh, Vladiam Tokara is uh, taken out of the fight. I think so. Uh, nice crowd control. Okay, uh, we're just stepping here for a moment. Give me this. And... Marazai, you do this. And a couple of stats for you, Idira. And we are just damaging them. Oh, wow. That was a thousand, a thousand, and the spillover killed this guy. Holy moly, I need to be careful. Saiken is just dealing too much damage. He steals the spotlight of the others, and I don't want that to happen. If I must. This tedium is beneath me. I understand your intent. Alright, goes back into cover, and we Gucci. Idira. Finally moves over. Marazai gets a bit more support. And look, we could either completely lash into them. I think it wouldn't be the worst idea. Or... Uh, we're starting to hit this guy. Can't really move the zone, not this round. That would be another good hit. Now, I think for once we're using our staff. What? Here we go. Good job. Um... A little bit more of this. And you guys just get another zone. But of course. We're going to place the front line very soon, but this zone now is a bit better. Because the other zone there was simply no one in there. Um could let all three of you actually work, uh, move with a heroic attack. Or we're going for Inferno. Now I think we're going to test this one. None All right. Stand against me. Fantastic. Um, given that you are burning, 
Ah, let's give everybody in flame. Okay, Saiken's turn again. Um, I think we're just giving Jay a buff. Earlier it gets a buff. Earlier it gets another buff. And there we go. Earlier it can act. 600 points of damage with the sniping shot thanks to all of the buffs. Holy smokes! Well, that also would mean. Now we're just I going to kill. Reload, which course. is good. And we're good, cheap. We're already having these buffs, right? Yeah, no. Wait. Uh, no, we could rebuff. There you go. And steal the sen uh, sensors uh, from uh, this one and wow well everybody is uh, burning now um, good that we can heal everyone and more resolve because why not Wow, one shot Smalsar, although I buffed him. The problem is he did not have a round to act yet. That's a big challenge. Essentially all uh, aggression and zero defense. So whoever gets targeted, unless it's uh, Avalard, will have a problem. And even Abelard, as you can see, has a problem. I deal death with my hands. This tedium is beneath me. All right, uh, give it up. Ancestors guide me. Oh, that combat servitor is still alive. Okay, understood. If it well, your one more trap and we're good. Why can't we give that to Abelard and let him stand up? I, I don't understand. A moving but okay. We're healing him. Field medicine at its finest. I can do that with the right incentive. Wonderful. Uh, her her gun just backfired on herself. <laughs> so that was unfortunate. Well, don't get too cocky. You've got a problem. Couple more shots. That's actually that was good damage. I'm gonna lie, that was really good damage. Um, and since we have critted, uh, there is a good chance that we uh, that we get a free shot. And for the first time, Jay has killed someone, which tells me we're on the right way, on the right track. I understand your intent. I uh, can't let Abelard uh, just stand up, that's unfortunately not working, but I can heal him a little bit more. 
with extra stats. Well, this guy has 14 stacks on him, which means he should take a lot of... Yeah, he should take a lot of damage. No is 433. That is fantastic. If it serves your cause. Avalar just gets up. And there is the kill I was looking for. Another if trap. I understand your intent. And you know what? So I can just Ruin make sure that this guy does uh, can't really act. What is this Iridia moves up. I think we're now officially in round number two. We'll do. Which brings me to the important question. Anything else? How much damage can we deal with, uh, to him? And the answer is an absolute ton. On it. Good. Let's give Jay. A bit more damage. One step closer. And Jay on her uh, end uh, could try to hit him. Only 18%, which isn't great, but it isn't bad either. And I'm saying that considering that she always was a bit of a problem uh, problem child when it comes to hitting enemies with those massively increased uh, sta uh, um, Am I stacks. He hits hard. Matter of fact, he hit so hard that he got our front line down. Plus J. And they were full hit points. Wow. That, that, if it serves your cause, yeah. Well, the fight itself was fine, I guess. My main gripe with it was the ones that died. It, the, the quote-unquote meta on the harder uh, hardest uh, difficulty seems to be you're acting before the enemy, then you're just dealing an incredible amount of damage and having extra turns, and we've mastered uh, that with the Prime team. Uh, the Prime team would have potentially steamrolled through all of uh, that, basically killing um, all of them. But there is no like real hard crowd control. Um, maybe I need to go deeper into the telepathy uh, thing. And I find it a bit uh, disappointing, but maybe it is just uh, managing expectations. Abelard, right? A completely defensive tank, really well built around Vanguard. Has all of the defensive features. Uh, didn't even have a round uh, in this entirety. 
Um, he got knocked down, which he should be mostly immune to. And then afterwards, he just got uh, dogpiled on. And he finally died. Uh, so he, he stood up, got uh, healed back up. And he finally died, which I think is a bit of a he uh, heresy in itself. When the boss casually walked uh, by him and struck him for 120 points of damage. Mind you, this guy has like... Uh, seven eight or nine deflection 90% uh, armor and he's quite tanky and 180% uh, uh, parrying on top of that so um, yeah uh, that escalates a bit out of uh, control um, on the contrary uh, the boss uh, has a hundred uh, thousand and eight hundred hit points and that is already with going 50% above unfair uh, hit points. So it's just completely cranked up and has defense. And despite all of that, he's still eating damage like uh, like cereals for breakfast. Anyways, Insidia uh, says, Footfall will be a relief to, to know that the lore has been restored in every sector of the station. Footfall will be delighted to know that you're dead, you redhead bitch. Um, hmm. Hmm. I hope you have creative ways in your punishments. You've contributed to the restoration of the order and footfall. Therefore, we will hold uh, the trial uh, jointly. Let us convict of Lodium. Lodium Tokara, I charge you before the Emperor's stern gaze with contempt of Cree he gave us, with harboring law heretics, with crime against his loyal servants, and with armed rebellion against his will. Yes, uh, that's what they say about me. And what they say about you is you're a dope-sniffing maniac who kills people for sports. That won't help you. Death is the Emperor's and it must be earned. Let me turn him into a servitor on my ship that will teach him obedience. There is a truth in your words, Saiken. Goodness is born out of servitude. Radiarim Tokara, your, for your crimes you will undergo servitude imper petius and be passed into the ownership of the House Van Valencius. So you're denying me a quick death, then again... An eternity as a mindless walking pile of scrap on your ship is better than another second next to these crazed monsters. Riza, uh, me? I've never fought against you. I never backed Vladium. And because of that, you are supposed to pardon you for your past offenses, commoner Riza. You are in charge with piracy, with aiding the abetting uh, rebels with blasphemous heresy and worship of the ruinous powers. Burn for inten uh, eternity, ungodly wretch. Uh, you think you can judge me? You should have done that. I have uh, something up my sleeves in case of the worst comes to worst. I, Riza, reject your um, accused justice and your uh, cursed emperor. Uh, em emperor. I accept the deal that was offered to me and surrender myself to the edge of daybreak. Die, red-haired monster. The fangs open, her mouth roars and spits out a flaming arrow. The rogue trader's hands fold swiftly into Aquilia uh, mm, that uh, meets to blow like a shield. Flickering flames run down her pale fingers, leaving no burn marks. Incendia whips out her weapon, and a shining ray blinds everyone 
100 times more powerful than what a common laser pistol can produce. A blast atomizes Arisa before she has even uh, uh, time to say her last curse. What was that? Faith, a shield gifted by the Emperor to his servants. Have you not recognized the light of our protector? Did you know that she was a heretic from the start? I saw right through her, her every crime, her every tainted thought. I gleaned that seed of corruption was wearing on her chest an own unholy vow and collateral for the promises given to her by the servants of the arch enemy. Yes, I knew. I sensed it the moment I looked upon her corrupt old wretch. All right, she deserved what happened to her. The emperor appointed me to wickedness and I destroy it. Justice has been done. Enforces. Arrest all lesser rebels. They will face trial due time. Thanked for your aid, cleansing footfall. The Emperor protects. Uh, what an interesting... What an interesting... period of time it was, eh? The world will bow. At least no one can stop us from uh, taking the melted charge there. Okay, what else? Uh, we still have that trading faction or are they completely gone? No, we even have uh, discount. Okay, cool. That's helpful because there were a couple of other things that I wanted to Let's get. Seize the opportunity. My pleasure. Fantastic. More goods. Nothing's impossible for this old officer. Okay, so we're not done yet. Uh, maybe we are actually because it's already a long episode. Um, there's still more to be done in this location though. I will do that as we go. Um, in the meantime, thank you so much for joining. I truly appreciate that. And uh, see you in the next episode. Uh, take care and as always, smash that like button like there is no tomorrow. Bye-bye.